What is going on guys and welcome to HTML tutorial. Now that we have actually created our first attribute, I think it's a good time to see how what would be the best way actually to work with the brackets uh, regarding the HTML elements and actually regarding the attributes for HTML element. Now if we notice that actually once we create this left angle bracket, you can see that I have this list. And as I'm scrolling down the list up and down, you can actually see that I have some options. Well, these options actually are the HTML elements that I can add just by clicking on them. So you can see that we have covered, let's say, headings. So if I would click over here, I would add a heading right away, right? And there, there was many more. Unfortunately, what's happening is that it's not all of them. So you can see it goes down all the way to edge. But let's say if I would want to add an image, you can see that as I'm pressing I, it actually gives me another option, another set of options. And these are all the elements that start with I. So let's say if I wanted to, if I had open up a bracket, I can just press the letter that I would want. So let's say G, but there's no, there's no element with G, there's no element with D, but let's say if I would press with I, and over here I would just press with I, I would have the the chance of image even though it's not showing up in the beginning once I open up or over here you can see that I have no option of I however if I just don't remember the full name of an element I just remember let's say the first letter that it started with I can always do it this way I can just press the press the uh, the first letter and it would give me the options that I have so in this case it's going to be the image that we covered in the last video now here's another thing another deal how to deal with attributes so let's say you can see that it created an image for me but you can see that it didn't create uh, it didn't finish creating everything right so if I just press space right now you can see that I have another list coming up and this is actually all the list of the attributes available for me. Again, these attributes for now we're not going to know. And, uh, only the alternative right now or here we have. So this would be the text if the image is not showing. But let me just again delete that. And we can see over here again if I press image over here. And I go up. And now if I press space it gives me all the options of a attributes. Now here's the deal. I, if I don't have, I mean, if I, I don't have in my list, let's say over here source, right? But again, if I just press S, you can see that it gives me an option of uh, what, what type of attribute I would want to add. So let's say I'm going to have source and right away gives me where obviously my image would be located. So again, I can just press images and then I keep going and it gives me the funny or Putin or two types of T's, right? Now here's the deal though. If let's say that if you're starting to type something, right? And you can see that now it's not giving me any options because I have been using the delete button. What I can always do is if I'm in this case, but I still want these quick uh, hints over here. Well, sorry. If I still want to use those quick hints over here, I can just press control and space. And you can see right away it comes back, the hints come back. So if I do that, it actually gives me right away back my options even though I use it delete so if you ever wonder how to get back you don't need to delete your whole bracket just to get uh, these code hints back you, you can actually just press control space and you get them back so again I'm just gonna use the image over here but you know what no I'm just gonna use the um, heading let's say right now here's another deal that if I press space again I get my attributes right however if that at some attributes are not going to be associated with all the elements that you can use let's say some attributes we're going to be able to use with all the elements some of them were unfortunately we're not going to be able to use with all elements because that's just by design so let's say that we, when we were dealing with the source source is actually uh, designed for the image so as I'm even even as I'm pressing s over here it doesn't give me the option of source element because the attribute is not associated with a heading element over here it's actually associated with a image element now that we have covered the headings and the attributes in brackets I just want to show you something really cool which is brackets extensions and brackets extensions are like a plugins that actually help uh, to actually up, like ma make it more uh, personable the brackets ex uh, text editor right so what we can do is we can go to file over here and we have an option of going to extension manager over here 
or we have an option of going here with this little icon. So I'm just going to press the brackets extensions over here. And sometimes it takes uh, some longer time to load it. But you can see that over here I have three icons. So I have installed, I have themes, which is actually a background colors for the brackets. And I have the available um, extensions. So if I would go over here, I would click on this icon over here. And in the search box, I would basically write what type of uh, extension I would want. And actually, I have a uh, playlist for all the brackets extensions. Well, not for all the brackets extensions out there, but for a lot of brackets extensions. So if you want, you can go and check it out, that playlist, and you can get familiar with those brackets extensions. Now, getting back to what we would need to do over here, I would write over here HTML let's say uh, starter plate, right? So you can see over here, and if I go over here, I just download, right? So let me show you what would have happened if I would download it. You can see I go back to here, my installed, and I have HTML format, and I have HTML skeleton. You can see that I have an option of disable or remove if I would want, but I don't wanna do that. Let's say that I have downloaded, and I just close it over here, and let's say that I'm just gonna delete this, uh, the boiler probably that we were creating, I believe, in our second video or something like that. So you can see over here, I have my HTML skeleton. So if I just press it over here, I have a couple of options. I have basic skeleton, I have the full width, and I have a couple of more, uh, other ones. The inline style sheet and external uh, script. So I'm just going to press this basic HTML skeleton. And you can see that it adds right away everything that we were working on. We have the head over here. We have the body over here. We have the actual HTML wrapper. You can see that it's added a couple more attributes that we haven't covered here yet with the meta characters and the viewports. So we don't need to worry about them for now as we're just starting to work here. But you can see how easy it is that I don't need to actually create anything. I just press the plugin or press the button and the brackets actually right away do, does that for me. And that's the that's the case with the brackets extensions. That it actually what they do is actually they make your life much much more easier. And the same thing goes for let's say the the view. Remember when we were covering the view, the themes over here, and this would be let's say the case where you we have two options: brackets light and brackets dark. But if I would go here to the brackets extension manager, I have themes. So if I just press it over here, it just might be a little bit uh, longer because for some reason, sometimes the brackets extension manager decides that it's just gonna be messing around like this. So I can just keep talking and talking. Well, now you see it did it. And over here, you can see over here that uh, what type of themes I have. Now for themes, I would suggest actually going and pressing more info just so you can see what type of theme it is and everything. Uh, so you don't have to download it and then remove it. But let's say that in this case, I just want to download, I don't know, Marcus Dark Theme or something like that. So I just press more info. And you can see that I can read it, everything about it. And you can see what's happening, how it looks like and everything, right? So I'm just going to close it out for now. And I'm going to go back to brackets. And I'm just going to say, you know what, I'm just going to install it. So now it's going to take a little bit of time for installing. Now it says install successful. We close, we close over here. And then we go back to view. And this is our themes. And now we have Marcus Dark Team. So if I just press it over here, and you can see that it's done. And you can see the coloring and everything. So you can see that it has two uh, ways of working with the brackets extensions. First, they provide us a quicker way to actually adding our code to the to our, wherever our document and they also can make our appearance a little bit different on the document that we're working on and to actually kind of give us a, a little bit i don't know a different view and everything uh, this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>
Oh, 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 oh,